exercise, whether that is walking my dog or um, boxing. I get up earlier than my children. <laughs> um, it's just kind of a time to orient and check in and, and think about the day ahead. The thing that I do that makes me feel productive is I wake up really early in the morning. I wake up at about 5.30 every day. It allows you to feel like by the end of the day, by six o'clock, you've, you've had a full productive day's work um, and you, you feel tired in a good way. There's discussion about whether women can have it all. I don't know if people ever ask men if they can have it all. Um, and I think the answer is, what's all? I don't think um, you need to necessarily have children or a family to have it all. I think you kind of decide what all is for you. I hope maybe we want to define it or could redefine it as, as happiness. Do you, do you feel happy and what are your, how do you define happiness? How do you define success? I think having it all involves having a work-life balance. Um, the great thing about my life is I'm a film director and I have kids. I feel incredibly blessed to do that. Um, and it, it's about making space for the two things. Not feeling like I have to make everybody happy on a shoot. It is my job to make sure everyone's safe. It is my job to make sure that everyone has what they need to do their job. Um, but I can't be worrying about whether X person is upset about something extraneous. Thinking that I had to say yes and I couldn't push back because I was young and a woman and a first time director. I think knowing what the story that you're telling needs and knowing the space and the time that it needs is one of the, the responsibilities a director has or a storyteller has and so to be true to what you need. One mistake I learned from was thinking I had to be a perfect everything. You can't be a woman who makes preserves and cooks amazing dinner parties and goes to parties and um, directs movies. You have to learn to, you have to learn what's important. You have to figure out what's important. Trust your instincts. Everybody has the film that they would make in their mind. That's not your movie. You really have to fight for your movie. No one's gonna fight for your movie for you. Believe in yourself. In the beginning, I really didn't feel I was good enough and I think my male contemporaries never had a problem wondering whether they were good enough. They just assumed they were. Remember that you are important and your voice is important and your story matters. Never question that, that you have something to say and that you should have a seat at the table. I think it's women advancing in the film industry is the question we should be asking. It's um, important for us to look at what are, what are people's second films? What are their third films? You know, it's the career that gets people jobs. Get rid of subconscious gender bias. We know women want to be movie directors. 50% of people graduating from film school are women and yet it dwindles down to 3% of people directing action films are women, 13% of feature film directors are women. Most people would say that they think women deserve it, but not that many women are getting the job. People need to hire more women. Movies and TV are the number one cultural export of, of this country, certainly, and it's how audiences and society and, and young people conceive of themselves and understand who they are. And if we don't have women and people of color and marginalized persons telling those stories, then we are, we are denying what is true. If you wanna tell the story of humanity, you should probably just hire more women, frankly. <laughs>